After 50 years of this, a new study seems to remove all doubt. Oil sands chemicals are ending up in northern Alberta lakes. It clearly shows that industry is actually increasing these contaminants. Calcium levels here are very high though, right? Yeah. Queen's University biologist John Small worked on the study with scientists from Environment Canada. They studied core samples of mud from six lakes downwind of Fort McMurray. They focused on cancer-causing substances called PAHs, produced when anything is burned. PAHs from burning petroleum have a unique fingerprint and can be tracked. The scientists found PAH levels in those lakes are 2 to 23 times higher than they were in the 1960s. Our study certainly confirms that, but also shows one lake which is 90 kilometers away and is also showing the effects of the oil sands now. So probably the footprint of the oil sands is even larger than we had previously thought. Scientist David Schindler has warned for years contaminants are making their way into the food chain. Two years ago, he like found that. deformed fish downstream of Fort McMurray. Yeah. He thinks the new study is proof of a big problem. We've been given this idea that there's some sort of immaculate conception at work in the oil sands that makes it a non-polluting industry. And some of us have known all along that that had to be BS. <laughs> But the industry points out the study shows while chemicals are increasing in lakes, they're still not at highly dangerous measuring. levels. I think it points to the fact that the, e the, uh, the ecology is not being harmed currently. Once the data Growing public concern over the oil sands prompted the federal government to set up a new independent monitoring system last year. To be sure that we don't uh, get to, uh, to into situations where cumulative levels uh, do get um, past uh, acceptable, um, acceptable levels. But the study warns those pollution levels could rise quickly if the oil industry goes ahead with plans to triple production in the next 25 years. Marco McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.